Well, we've been home now for two weeks from our North Africa trip. And currently, as we stand here recording this, here in the Ottawa Valley, it is 40 degrees colder than it was on our last day in Marrakesh. We did a bunch of research. Well, a chunk of research? Tried to find some stuff. We, we tried to find some stuff that we wanted to know before we went on our North Africa adventure. We found out a lot. There were some things that we now know that we should have known, wish we had found out before we left. So here's our top eight things we wish we had known before we went to Morocco. Okay. We're back in Canada. Oh my gosh. And it's so much warmer in here with a nice fire going. <laughs> um, it was minus 22 during our walk. Our last day in Marrakesh was just over 20 degrees Celsius. Mm. So we're talking like 42, 43 degrees Celsius colder outside right there than it was in Marrakesh our last day. And we are here in the Ottawa Valley. And we decided that we wanted to share with you the things that we wish we had known before we left for our trip to Morocco. We did a fair bit of YouTubing and uh, just doing a bunch of Google searches before we went. Uh, we counted on our amazing travel advisor, uh, Darren Prashad, for his advice. He gave us a lot of great advice, but there were some things that we didn't know that we wished we had known. Mm -hmm. And basically we came up with a list of eight things that we wish we had known before we went to Morocco. And um, I guess the first thing on the list, starting at high number, working to the most important things we know, was hotel amenities. Hotel amenities, which was my big thing because before leaving, I wanted to know if there were, was shampoo, that kind of stuff, um, blow dryer. I just wanted to know what the, what was there and what I had to pack. So, and wanting to not bring so much, I was hoping that they would have all those amenities. At the hotels in Morocco, I found that there was shampoo, um, there were some soaps, the and typically they're, soaps. they're kind of like this. They're, they're they, they take a while to lather, but they're soaps, they work. There's no conditioner, which I like conditioner because I have curly hair and I need it to, to straighten my hair. Not straighten it, to uh, not have um, it tangles. Get and stuff. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. But so, you brought conditioner because you were concerned. Yes, so, so I brought yeah, conditioner. So that was good. Um, they have, uh, typically there isn't a blow dryer and you have to, what I did is be, knowing that after the first uh, hotel room that we went to every time we got there I asked for the blow dryer because also typically there's only one extra blow dryer or maybe two and in that case then you have to plan with the group of, of people that you're with uh, who's going to get the blow dryer when that kind of thing yeah and we had uh, we were using uh, whatsapp as a group and we'd get a message you know uh, who's got the blow dryer can I get the blow dryer I'm doing my hair tonight so the ladies in the group and we were 13 people four of us were guys none of us had enough hair to worry yeah. about a blow dryer so the nine ladies in the group uh, were the ones that got to share the blow dryer yeah. but if you take a blow dryer one thing to be mindful of power converters if you used a north american 120 volt uh, blow dryer in a power converter you'll have a challenge with the power converter we learned that on a previous trip so either try to get a european two round pin blow dryer if you want to take one on your on your own or just be prepared right to exactly. to share or or look for it so okay. the other thing in morocco is they only give you two towels uh, in the room in the room so you don't get a fake cloth and you don't get a hand towel so I mean, it's not a big deal, but if you're used to washing your face with a face cloth, bring one or whatever. I'm just, just yeah. 
letting you know that that's how they and it was every hotel yeah. every single one yeah um i'm just checking yeah. to see yeah. i think and that was it yeah. for the hotels yeah no oh, and no no cups for like for water or not for water you're not going to drink the water there but no cups if you're bringing drinks or yeah. wine or something so not even plastic so you had to, to, you had to negotiate with the hotel restaurant to have something for right. drinking water. but it worked yeah um number seven Number seven in Morocco uh, became a challenge for us a couple of times. Our bank card never worked in Morocco. <laughs> no, it wasn't for lack of funds for those of you that are thinking that first. It just seemed that the Plus or Interact system didn't recognize our credit card ever. Our credit card, excuse me, our bank card ever. We ended up having to use our credit card for cash advances. Um, it's not a big deal. You pay uh, with our card. It cost us five dollars transaction fee. They actually didn't charge us interest because we don't have a balance on our card, so that was great. But the one thing that I would say is be mindful of having as much cash as you're comfortable carrying all the time because you never know when you're going to be able to get money. When we were in Egypt, money was like you could go to a bank machine anywhere and get money. Um, in Morocco, it was a bit of a challenge. So that that was a bit of a thing. Yeah, and it wasn't always with every bank. It just depended on which bank you dealt with, I guess, because not everybody had the issue. No, but all the Canadians always did. Oh, okay. And number six was food. Ooh. I wish I had known how amazing the food was in Morocco before we went, because quite frankly, I probably would have tried to drop an extra pound or two before we left, because it, like the tagine and the couscous and the meatball stuff that I guess was tagine um, was amazing. But we had been told that there were issues with breakfast. There were a lot of comments about be prepared for breakfast. And it's like, you know what? There were, the breakfasts were, simil uh, were similar, for sure. It was uh, a plethora of different kinds of bread. Um, those Bonnie Bell style, you know, the triangle cheese packet, little things in the silver foil. Um, there were a couple of uh, cool kinds of breads, but there was always like honey and apricot jam and almost always boiled eggs available. Sometimes there were scrambled eggs. Um, don't expect to see sausage because, of course, there's no pork. Um, but really, like, you just, there. you just had to be a little creative. Like, our, our, our organized tour in Morocco was 15 days. Um, there was a lot of food to be eaten. Mm -hmm. uh, and the breakfasts were similar. So we've seen people sort of complaining about that. Just want you to know the food is amazing and there are so many different things to try oh the tacos the tacos are really weird um it's like a it's more like of a, a panini but with meat and french fries in it inside no. uh, so so there was that but you know whatever um number five number five was i wish i had known how much fun it would be to get lost in a sook love the sooks oh my gosh so Cindy, what's a sook for those people sitting back at home watching, asking, what's a sook? A sook is a flea market. It's um, it's where everybody goes to buy their wares and it could be anything. Yeah, it was, they were, so imagine, imagine Venice, because we wanted to get lost in the Calais in Venice and we actually accomplished that. Um, look that video up. Anyways, um, one of the things that about the Sooks is they're very narrow and they're super busy. Like we were never this busy when we were in Venice. Um, some of the Sooks, there were even motor vehicles. Others, there were porters with big wagons and balak. 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 They would yell balak, or get attention. out of the way. Attention or balak, right? Uh, for those of you that don't know, Morocco is bilingual Arabic French with some English thrown in. Um, so that was interesting. So the sooks were, were pretty cool. Um, yeah. Um, number four was the weather and packing for the weather. Yes. And one of the things that um, we were told in our packing list was to pack for three seasons. 
winter, summer, and fall. So we had a lot of stuff. Um, Cindy, you, you'd mentioned maybe we could have done without some of the stuff. Well, we didn't realize um, what was going to be at the particular places we were going to in the Atlas Mountains. And one of the things that G Adventures suggested we bring was um, sleeping a sleeping bag. And we used our sleeping bag. We brought them, we used them. They were very big, so that wasn't too bad. But um, in the Sajit that we stayed at, uh, there were lots and lots of big blankets, big comfy blankets. So those that, that didn't bring the sleeping bag, they were fine. They were good. So we yeah. didn't need to have yeah. the sleeping bags. And actually number three was the list. We, you know, there were, what else was on the list that we ended up having um, zero need for? Uh, we water pills. Water, pure, yeah, pure tabs. Pure tabs. Um, I guess the assumption was that people were going to try to get to drinking water from the tap. Um, uh, they said backpack cover. Oh, it didn't rain, rain when we were there, and it doesn't rain very often there, so we yeah. really wouldn't need that. I just actually had a garbage bag in yeah. case. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, just go through the list. Um, look, at the end of the day, what you pack is your responsibility. Um, we had one chap on our group that was there with a very small carry-on and you know there were a few times that we were a little concerned that he might be a little cold he was fine so um you know that's i think one of the things and this is rolling us into number our point number two the things that we'd wish we had known was that g was looking out for us and point number two being g looking out for us um, we can't speak highly enough about g we didn't know how amazing they were until we experienced them. Um, G Adventures was incredible. If you want to talk G Adventures, we're more than happy to talk G Adventures. We're more than happy to have our travel advisor uh, hook you up with a G Adventures tour. Um, that's not a problem. We're very, very comfortable spreading the gospel of G. Um, and one of the things that we talked about was earlier we were saying that there were four guys, nine women. There were only, of the 13 of us, there were only two sets of family. Cindy, and myself, and a family of three. Mother, uh, mother, father, and son who had just graduated from Georgia Tech. Uh, go Corey. Um, <laughs> The other, the other eight people in the group were single travelers. And I thought it was fantastic that all of them had the security of a group. Um, and, and, you know, G really gave that vibe. Uh, our tour guide, Yassin, was unbelievable. Uh, our bus driver, my brother from an Arab mother, Mohammed, uh, he was incredible as well. Uh, but, you know, know full well that you can have absolute confidence traveling with G. And this isn't sponsored by no. G. This is this is just our legit. This very, is very well organized. Right? Yeah. Um, anything you needed, they always had the answers to. Yeah. They were very accommodating. Yeah. 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 And the places that we stayed were all unique, right? Sure, we only had towels. We didn't have hand towels and we didn't have conditioner whatever the hotels that we stayed at some of them were the coolest places we would never have chosen them ourselves they were just so cool, just cool. Uh, it was really really neat by the way it's not g not g adventures that sponsors us it's ad caffeine that sponsors us so know about ad caffeine digital marketing anyways just kidding uh not kidding but really um just wanted to move on g is good okay g stands for great um, so yeah, which leaves us with the number one thing that we wish we had known about Morocco before we went, mm -hmm. and that is the people, the people of amazing. Morocco. I think we would have gone to Morocco way sooner in our lives had we known what we were going to experience in Morocco. We were welcomed, legitimately, heartfelt welcomes. People, when we were passing them on the street, would say welcome to us. They thanked us for visiting their country. Our videos that we have on our YouTube channel from Morocco, from our experience in Morocco, go through the comments. 
go through and see how many of those people have thanked us for sharing with the outside world how amazing Morocco is. The people are incredible. So yeah, even when we we were in the Sooks and we were saying oh no no um, they would offer us something and we would say no thank you they would just say maybe next time maybe next time yeah, maybe yeah. Next time. a lot of inshallah uh, it was it was really the vibe was so so nice and they are they are of the most kind human beings I've ever met in my life um, it was unbelievable so. Yeah, there you have so it. that's number one, is the people of Morocco. Um, switching gears, if you like this video, if you did take the time to get to here, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, ask us questions, give us your feedback. Uh, we'd be happy to answer any questions to help you with your planning for your trip to Morocco. Um, if there's anything that you think we missed, please put it in the comments. We'll actually adjust our description of this video to add your points if you think there's something that you would have liked to have known before you went to Morocco that wasn't in our list. And all that said, if you've enjoyed this video, please think about subscribing to the Team Dirt Road Traveler YouTube channel. Uh, we got a lot of stuff coming up. We're, we've got a, a little travel to Florida for a little bit and next month. And in a few months, we're doing the Camino de Santiago. Um, so that's going to be 15 days in Spain. There's going to be a lot of amazing experiences, I'm sure. And after we finish that, we're going to spend a week in Portugal, in Porto and Lisbon. So we're excited about that as well. So on behalf of Cindy and myself, thank you for watching this Dirt Road Traveler video. And we hope to see you again.